Hey everybody. Okay, in this video, I am going to adjust the brake foot. So um, you'll see me take off the peg, take off the peg hanger, and adjust the brake. See, what's happening is when I sit on this, if I'm on here, uh, it's too far forward for me. It looks fine on the video, but when I'm riding, my foot is more like this. So it's like I'm pointing, it's too far forward. When I first got the bike, I dropped it and bent the brake. So I had to bend this lever back out. I did, it was good. But in the meantime, I had already bought, um, I found online uh, this, which is the official foot pedal kit uh, that goes if you have the footboards, which I don't have. But last weekend, I wanted to see if it worked, if it fit. So I took everything off, installed this, put the peg back on. It did work actually, but the problem with this was too close to the peg. So I'm thinking without the footboards, no good. So I took it off, put that one back on. And today I took it for a ride and the setting is off. It's just, this is just way too far forward. So I'm gonna make this come forward. I'm gonna do the adjustment, which is under here. So you're gonna see me take off uh, the peg. You're gonna see me take off uh, these two bolts here, and then I'll have access to this behind it where I can adjust the brake lever. So let's do it. This is a, uh, what is this? 3 16 Yes, I do not have all the proper metric tools because, well, I just don't. One of these days, I will go buy them all. So I find the closest equi equivalent standard tool. I'm just loosening these, loosening these a little bit. I probably should take this off first. Let's do that. So this has a little thing underneath here. <clears throat> okay. See this? I'm gonna take this piece off right here underneath. It just holds the bolt in. Good camera work. I'm just using a screwdriver to get this piece loose. Okay, it's this right here. I'll use this so you can see it a little bit better with my fingers. I'm just pulling this little clip off. That's it. Simple, that's it. Now, uh, this bolt this bolt right here comes out. So let's set this back up. Right here. Out, done, easy. This comes off. If you were putting on the footboards, I would imagine this is the same thing. So now there's a bolt here. This does not fit it. This goes on these, these two are the same. This one is bigger. So I have this, which is metric, uh, I believe. I think this is a five. So of course I put it in the wrong one, but you know what? You can find the one that fits. So. <clears throat> is 5.5 there we go that's loose loosened right up this comes right off this is the footboard hanger that I'm removing right now removing this bolt that's out and let me go back to the other one. Let's remove these two bolts. I probably could get at this without taking the whole thing off, but just the same. It's fine. Boom. Look at that, comes right off. I put these in the hole so I don't lose which one is which. I don't think it really matters. Okay, so this, 
is another clip uh, right here. I'm gonna take this clip off. I wonder if I can zoom in. Okay, let's take this clip off here. Just my fingernails to get that off. I have to be careful because I just rode the bike, so these are hot. They're not so super hot. I stopped a while ago, but let's put this in a safe place. And now this is loose. This bolt should come push straight out. There it goes. Just wiggle a little bit, and then this comes right out. There's no spring or anything that jumps. It just comes right out. Now I can adjust this. So let's try that. I'm going to loosen this lock nut up at the top here. Pair of pliers. It's not a biggie. I just cracked it a little. Now the bottom one, uh, let's see. I'm going to... I want this... All right, so what I want is this to be no, yes. So I want to, let's try it. If it's not one way, it's the other. <laughs> I'll tell you when I figured it out. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so take a look in here. See this where it comes through? So if you want the brake level lever to be higher, so your foot would be more at an angle, um, you screw this so that there's not as much of it coming through. If I wanted this to be f more flat down, I would screw this so that a lot of this comes through here. But that's about where I like it. Uh, you can sort of line it up here a little bit. That's about where it's gonna be. Before it was down here. So now let's screw this in. This is the lock nut. Okay, let's put this back on and see if I like where it is. This goes right through, all the way through. Now this piece goes right back on here. See now on one side it's pretty easy one side solid one side as a whole so just clamps on clips on use your fingers locks that on there okay now let's put this back on it's easy to go on I mean just fits I'm just doing these finger tight right now. This one is a little trickier, so you need the piece here to spin it. Make that nice and tight now. There we go. And let's do these. Things are tight until I need this. There we go, nice and tight, it's tight. Now this, it's got a little spring right here. Oh, I should, I got new pegs. You know, I'm not gonna put those on now, but I should. <laughs> I did get the chrome line ones, but. All right, so this little spring hole, there's a hole right there. The other piece just sits right on the top, like that, just sits there. This actually comes out. See, no big deal. Just put it right back in. And put this in the little, I'm putting this in this hole here. I'm threading it so it hooks. There it is. Now it's just a matter of lining it up. 
pushing the spring in, lining up. It's not hard, actually. It's not like the spring is so hard it's gonna hurt you or anything like that. You just push it in. Mm. <laughs> in theory. All right, there we go. Just lining up the hole. This was a lot easier this weekend when I did it. There, oh, look at that, nailed it, I think. Yep, and then this goes on. I probably should test it before I put the whole thing back together, but this just slides right back on. Oh, I didn't even need a tool. Boom. Let's sit on it. Yeah, that's a lot better. Oh yeah, I, I could probably even come higher. That's a lot better. I love my socks. <laughs> uh, you should see the ones that my kids get me. Those are a lot of fun. Uh, typical dad. I don't really care what my socks are. Boom. That's it. And then uh, maybe next video or something, I will put these on. I got these <laughs> uh, to replace this. But you know what? You just saw me replace these take this off this so easy to take this and put it in its place but the problem is i like these because they say triumph on them so uh, and you'll see i actually bent this brake thing back in what i did is i took a piece of wood and put it in here okay i'm right here and it's set up i'll just show you what i did to fix this when the brake i mean it's already fixed but i'm just going to read show you what i did i took one of these i took one of these wrenches I did take a cloth and put a cloth around here and this was bent up against the bike. It was flattened and this piece here was flattened. So I used this and got it on the right thing and bent it to the right shape. And what I found is that this down here was strong enough to hold it. So I bent it out. I bent it back away from the bike, but then this was at the wrong angle. So I clipped this on here, and, and when I bend it back, this would bend back, so that was no good. That's where the wood came in. Uh, so here's what I did. I had this piece of wood here. I just shoved it right in there. And then I took a two by four and put it in here. And now, when I took this piece and latched it on, I actually had to do it this way, so I'd have leverage down here. I'd pull it out, and this bent right back without pushing the bar back. It worked so well. Uh, and if you're looking at my pipes and saying, yeah, but my pipes are all scratched. No, that happened when I dropped the bike. Uh, that was the first day I had this bike. <laughs> so, okay, there you go. And uh, that's it.